most people don't know that Luna won a medal for the death of Cleopatra. So we've known it only from photographs. And so to have it here, uh, to be seen in, in person, is really an experience. I've known it only in pictures. So seeing the actual thing, I was blown away. It's one of his best works, and we're happy that it's here. Uh, the French works, which also came from Spain, that show us uh, Luna, another side of Luna. He's not painting classical scenes anymore. He's painting scenes of poverty and misery in 19th century France. The painting Heroes Anonymous is one of Luna's social realist works. In the beginning, it was just painting scenes from ancient Greece, Rome, Cleopatra. But this time, he's painting scenes from ordinary life in 19th century France. And he did, chose not to paint the beautiful things, but he painted the underside of society. So you see here a change not only in his temperament, but also in the style. We know that uh, Luna read uh, some works of Marx and we think that these readings actually influenced the way in which he saw the world. The whole exhibition is rather interesting because one, it's unprecedented. We've never seen uh, a lot of these works uh, together. Well, in the Philippines, Luna is mostly remembered as a hero. Uh, rather than a painter, and I'd like to think that this exhibition turns everything around. So we actually see the artist first and see the hero with him later. The hero part actually overshadows the whole narrative and it changes the way that we look at things. But this exhibition, by giving us a survey of his work, actually shows us and brings out the, the artist in him. So we can now separate the hero from the artist.